to another week of the vlog with me so it is 8 27 and i am on my way to the park to go running um running running slash walking because i will be doing walking too this is the first time y'all that i'm gonna be back in the park since i sprained my ankle it's gonna be like a bittersweet moment because it's like dang i haven't been back here since i sprained my ankle but i'm not going on the hill i'm not going on the hill not only because it sprained my ankle, or well, that's where I sprained my ankle, I should say. Um, but because it's too hot for that. Like I'm literally trying to hurry up and go to the to the um park before it gets any hotter. Um, it's already 81 degrees. I checked on the weather. It's already 81 degrees, and um, I'm trying to hurry up before it gets any hotter. So I'm definitely not going to do the hill just because it's going to be too hot. But I will do the hill again. Like, I'm not scared to do the hill again. Like, I'm going to do it again. It's just not today. I was supposed to get up since 6.30. I kept snoozing Alexa. And now I had to wake up at 8. And now I'm on my way. But, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go now. And I'll talk to you guys afterwards because, like I said, I don't want it to get hotter. And um, after the park, I'm going to go to Aldi's just to get a little bit of stuff. Not too much. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And then I got to stop by the bank because I got to do a deposit. And that's that. That'll be it. That'll be my day. Oh, I have to edit the video for this. Not last week, but the week before vlog. I have to edit that video. So I have to finish um editing today i want to post it today i want to post it on sunday i want to go back to post it on sundays um i haven't posted on sunday in so long and i'm like irritated with that so i'm trying to post today i'll talk to y'all later all right you guys so we're at the park now and i am on mile one well not really on mile one i am completing mile one i'm power walking right now we're gonna start off with power walking and then we're gonna go ahead and um, run the next mile. But yeah, just in case you guys forgot, I wear the jacket because it makes me sweat more. And one thing that I've learned through the journey of trying to lose weight is like, you need to sweat. So, and I'm not, not, I'm not a person who naturally sweats a lot. So I have to like, do stuff for me to sweat so although it's hot as fuck or although it's hot i'm gonna keep the jacket on all right you guys update i had tried to run and i gotta walk backwards because this is where the sun is shining but yeah i tried to start running out but i couldn't i started intermediate fasting yesterday and i haven't ate since 4 p.m yesterday and i think that's the reason why I feel so weak and I'm not able to complete the mile. Um, yeah, I started intermediate fasting because I realized that like, I'm not going hard enough. I'm not gonna lie. Um, with my diet, I be some timing. I eat out a lot and I decided to go harder and put in that work for real and stop playing because I complain a lot, y'all. I complain so much about my weight. And to the people that is around me, I know they'd be like, dang, girl, y'all talking about your weight. But it's my weight is something that really, really bothers me. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to put that weight. I'm, I'm going to put the work in. So I decided to do intermediate fasting and change my diet up, stop eating out so much and cook more. So, and also got a lot of veggie, veggie meats. So that's what I'm gonna go to all these for later. Just to get some more veggie meat. I just, I gotta put that work in. Like, I can't keep talking, complaining. I am such a solution person, like a solution-based person. Like, I don't like to complain. 
I don't like people around me complaining. If you don't like something, change it. That's my mindset. And that's what I told myself. I said, shut the fuck up or change it or stop complaining. And I'm going to change it. So I decided, you know what? Take it to the next level. But yeah, I'm going to go back walking. <sighs> hey, y'all. I can't even talk. Like, I am so, like, out of breath right now. I feel so weak. <laughs> I need to hurry up and eat something, but I have two more places to go. I have to go to the bank. I have to go to all these, and I'm thirsty as hell. I finished my bottle before I had um, started. Now I need another bottle. I don't have one on me. So I'm thirsty as hell. Mouth super dry. <laughs> out of breath. Sweating like a pig. Stomach growling. <sighs> Child. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I have to go get me some. Like I was telling you guys earlier when I was walking, I have to go get me some um, small little groceries. Not a lot. Probably like 10 things for the most. Um, at Aldi's. And then I have to do a deposit. Child. Oh. I need some water. This is my food that I made coming back from working out. So I have broccoli. I'm trying to incorporate greens with every single meal. And then I made pasta with um, meatballs. But the gag is these are veggie um, meatballs. They are plant-based. I got it from Trader Joe's. And then um, the pasta is supposed to be like organic. So, I got the organic pasta from um, Aldi's. So, yeah. And this will be my only meal for the day, y'all. Like, this is all I'm going to eat for the whole day. And then I'm going to go into my intermediate fasting. And then I got my kombucha. Let me let me show y'all my kombucha. And this is my kombucha. Best flavor ever. The passion fruit and tangerine. That's my favorite flavor. But, yeah. That's it, y'all. Yeah, I'll go back to another day of vlog, y'all. I had to share with you guys. So I got some figs. I got some figs, y'all. Now, um, I I just realized, like literally just right now, I just realized that <laughs> I didn't tell you guys the good news. I remember my last vlog, I was like, okay, I have some good news. I'm gonna tell you guys. But then I never told you guys what the good news was. So, ready for it? Jump roll, please. So I accepted a new ICU position at a different hospital. It's local. I didn't get the um, hospitals that are out of state. And the spirit of good news, I found me a birthday dress. Ah! Birthday dress is so beautiful. 
I love my new birthday dress. OMG. I can't wait till it comes, y'all. When I tell y'all, this new dress is everything. This new dress is everything. I love this new dress. I'm ashamed to tell you guys how much I spent for it. I'm not going to tell y'all where I got it yet. I will tell you all the details when it comes, when I'm wearing it and everything like that. I'm not going to gatekeep, but I'm not going to tell y'all yet. But if I had told y'all the website, then y'all would have known like how much around how much I spent on this dress. I'm literally ashamed to say y'all. <laughs> but my goal is to resell it once I wear it. So, yeah. But anyways, this is the navy blue scrubs. I love the scrub color better than the light blue. I just feel like this one just goes with way more than the light blue goes. So I love it than the royal blue. But this navy blue, yeah, my shoe game can be crazy. I got some shoes from the TikTok shop, y'all. I know y'all probably thinking like, girl, <laughs> I didn't even buy them. Um, I'm getting it sent for free. It's some, it's a hot pink um shoes. And I'm gonna wear it with this. It's gonna be so cute. I already know it. This is the high waisted. Which one is this? Yeah, high waisted Zamora um scrubs. This is the size medium. All right, Alice. Hi guys. Don't mind me. I'm sweaty. I just finished. Um, ooh, let me stop my watch. I just finished. Um, did some at home workout. Um, it's raining like really bad. And I wasn't able to go out running today. And also, the gym is like a little bit over 30 minutes away. I didn't feel like driving in the rain um, over 30 minutes away. So I decided to just do an at-home working, at-home workouts. Um, but while I was working out, I just got done, y'all. While I was done, while I was working out, guess what got delivered? So my birthday dress came and we are about to see it for the first time and you guys are gonna get my first reaction and also if you guys are following me on tiktok make sure you guys follow me on tiktok because um i have a series going on called unbigging our backs um i just started it it's just a way to keep me accountable um and also just share my journey and my experience with you guys as far as my weight loss because i'm just a girl and i am you know, learning what works for me. I'm just a girl trying to lose this weight and learning on the learning along the way. So if you guys want to see my journey and also, like I said, it's it's primarily a way to keep myself accountable. This box is pretty. I'm gonna keep the box. I'm gonna keep the box. But y'all look. This this is where I got my dress from. It's Liss Alg. List. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's A L G list. This is the box that came in. This is where the dress is, and it's so pretty. <laughs> I damn near don't want to open it. Ooh, look at this, y'all. Okay. We about to see the dress. We about to see the dress. try it on I think it'll fit this is so pretty oh the one thing that I'm scared about y'all is that this dress is basically a one-size-fit-all 
and baby back in the days I could have fit in one size fit alls but the way my body's set up nowadays I'm not a one size fit all type of girl <laughs> okay so I don't know um that's what makes me nervous I would try it on right now but but the gag is I just finished workout I'm sweaty I haven't showered yet, so I'm not going to try it on now, but I definitely am going to try it on for sure. I'm going to try it on in the morning because that's when I'm the skinniest. <laughs> you know, when you wake up in the morning and you done took your number two and you feel light like a feather, you just fly away. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to try it on. That's what I'm going to try it on because, yeah. Because <laughs> if it don't fit in the morning after you done took your number two, baby, it ain't going to fit. Just go ahead. And y'all, this is none refundable. <laughs> I'm ashamed to tell y'all how much I pay for it. Should I tell y'all? I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. Yeah, cause y'all my girls. Y'all my girls. I told y'all. Y'all my girls. I'm gonna tell y'all. I paid 300 for this dress, y'all. It's okay. I'm gonna sell it back. I'm gonna sell it back. Um, my camera's about to die. But I'm going to sell it when I, after my birthday, I am definitely going to sell it. So if you want, DM me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it is at Dark Skin Amazing. So <clears throat> DM me on Instagram and um, I haven't thought of a price for it yet. I'm going to sell it. How much I'm going to sell it? Because I paid $335 including shipping and taxes. Um... I'm not going to make y'all pay shipping, <laughs> but yeah, so I am definitely going to sell it after my birthday, after I wear it. Right now we're on a mission y'all i know i look an absolute mess but honestly i had no plans of leaving the house today like i have a paper to write i have to edit the youtube video i have to edit a tiktok video two tiktok videos and i'm just like oh i have so much to do and i feel like i don't have enough time to do them but today Remember I was showing you guys my um, birthday dress that I received? So I tried it on this morning and it does not fit, y'all. It barely fits. I have to find a way to get this dress to fit. It was $300. I'm wearing this dress. I got to figure out where's the seam seamstress. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I found one locally on Google. I'm about to go to her now. And I'm about to see how can she help me on another one just in case she tripping. So I'm about to go to her. Her name is Maggie. I found her online. And I'm going to see if she could make this dress fit for me. Because honestly, y'all, I'm panicking. Like, my birthday dinner is literally next Saturday. I don't have time to waste. Oh. Alright, y'all. I'm just, I don't know. Alright y'all, so I just left Maggie's place. I'm still like in the parking lot. So she doesn't, she says she doesn't work on that type of dress because of the, um, the rhinestones or whatever. Is it rhinestones or the thing that is on it? She says she doesn't work on these type of dresses. So... I have to look for somebody else and 
This is crazy. Hi, um, <clears throat> I was wondering, I have a dress, it's a birthday dress, it's like a nude see-through with like rhinestones all over it, and I wanted to get it altered. Do you work on those type of dresses? Yes. Okay, thank you, I'll be there. No problem. Uh, let's see. Alright y'all, I'll let y'all know how that one go. I'm gonna go to her and is she, I don't know. Yeah, I am soaked. I got caught in the rain, y'all. Let me show y'all how bad it's raining. Y'all see this? <laughs> All right, y'all, so update. I, um, she was able to alter it for me, but she's not altering it in the way that I originally wanted um, I don't know this is such like a a bittersweet moment for me because it's like I'm happy I was able to find a solution because she won't be able to alter it how I wanted it and she was saying like because of the way that the dress is made there is not room for much alterations to be done um, so she said that how I wanted it, originally wanted it to be altered, it's not gonna be possible. That's the update, y'all. I got too many hoes. But they hate you. You like to put that shit in your nose.